2023 was the year of layoffs and 2024 is not an exception. So I get flooded with all these questions in my Instagram DMs and in email and Facebook. Will I lose my job or if you have a business, will you become bankrupt? Will everything collapse? Well, don't worry. The scenario is not as daunting as the news tells you. But yes, there are difficulties. No no way I'm uh, shying out from saying that. Situation is very tough in the job market, especially here in Europe. It's very tough, all right? But using Astrology, can you figure out? Now, when you figure out these 10 things, this is purely dependent on the dashas, right? Well, not, which means first you have to see. The overall chart has to be seen. And if the overall chart is not very strong for profession, is weak, then if you have these dashas, then the possibility is like, you know, very high that you might lose your job, right? So therefore, if you know somebody who has a, who does not have the best chart for profession and he or she is running the dasha of these uh, houses and these plants, then maybe the person could be uh, terminated, all right? So what's the first? This is classic. If the Mahadasha and the Antardasha is linked with the 6th and the 12th. Now, what do I mean by this? It means, suppose you are running Sun, Mars, Dasha. All right. And Sun is in the 6th and Mars is in the 12th. Or either ways, Sun is in the 12th, Mars is the 6th. Now, why do I say this? Because 6th house is your daily job. But it is also, you know, disputes and problems. So when one Antardasha, one Mahadasha is indicating 6th house and the other is indicating the 12th house, which is the house of loss and, you know, all this craziness. So this could mean that your employment has been terminated or will be terminated. All right. So, and especially if within this Antardasha, whenever, you know, moon is in Bharani Nakshatra, I have seen many terminations happening. I mean, this is... This is gold. Bharni Nakshatra is like, like. <laughs> All right. So number two, if there is a Mahadasha influence of two houses, like the eighth house and the tenth house. See, what is eighth house? Eighth house is again endings. But the thing is, if the eighth and the tenth are linked, then you just don't have termination of job. You just don't lose your job. You also get defamation. All right. Or there could be some sudden things, you know, some sudden uh, board of directors changes in your company and they come and say, you know, we are we don't need this team. Otherwise, we will not fund you. And then the entire team is laid off. So it's very sudden. It's like shocking. All right. So eighth house will give you that shock. All right. Now, if the Mahadashas number three is linked with these two houses, the second house and the sixth house. Now, why the second and the sixth? So the second house shows your net worth. So whatever money you earn always goes to the second house. And if, if you have a malefic, especially in the sixth house, then it means, and suppose your second house dasha is running. For example, your sun is in the second and Mars is in the sixth. But both are in some bad dignity. Okay, this will not occur in general for everybody. But if one of them is... <clears throat> In bad dignity, then this can surely occur, right? So then it means, you know, your net worth has gone to the house of disputes or you know, something like that, okay? Which means you you may now be wondering where will I get money from or should I change my job or whatever or, you know, you, 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 you will be fired very soon. <laughs> so <clears throat> this is classic. So number four is very important. This is not much discussed, but if... The Mahadasha and Antardasha are related to the 11th and the 12th houses. 11th house, as you know, is the house of your gains and 12th house is loss. So if the 11th and 12th Lord are in Parivartan and that Mahadasha and Antardasha you are running, suppose, you know, Surya is in the 12th and, uh, uh, and uh, either way. So if they are sitting in each other's houses, you know, for example, uh, Mercury Venus is the example which will be applicable here or Sun and Moon, right? Because the zodiac signs are next to each other. So, for example, uh, Sun is in the sign of uh, <clears throat> Moon is in uh, Moon is in the sign of Leo and the Sun is in Cancer. All right. So, in this case, what will happen is 
uh, if they, these two Rashis, they fall in the 11th and 12th houses, then this is serious problem because you may feel that your gains have stopped, which means, what does it mean? Which means your job is not there anymore, right? Now, number five, this is more prominent with business. But if the seventh Lord's Dasha is activated with some Dustana house involved with it, so, for example, you know, the seventh lord is in the eighth and the Antardasha is of another planet. So, your seventh lord's Mahadasha is there and the Antardasha lord is also in a bad house in the sixth, eighth or twelfth. So, then you have loss in business. This is specific to business. Now, this one is again classic. In your Dashamsha chart, this is not in your D1. In your Dashamsha chart, the, the Mahadasha and the Antardasha of the planets, if they are associated with the second house, and the eighth house so then it can show the wealth that is coming in from your profession is ending because see the second house in the lagna chart will show you your entire network so suppose you have a job but you have you know uh, your father left you property of you know 100 crores okay so then if the second house in the lagna chart has some problem so it can mean that there is some court case against your family assets you know that could be but in the d10 if the second house and the eighth house are linked and the dasha is active then it can seriously mean that the income from your profession your own profession is now questionable all right so therefore don't forget to check this in the d10 now number seven this is very important is not much discussed but if you learn astrology you will also understand fourth house is the house of endings because Fourth house is where the sun goes in Patal, right? It's around 12 in the night, midnight. So, if there are very bad uh, influences in the fourth house and, you know, if your um, fourth lord is also very badly placed, then I have seen in some cases there could be termination of job, right? But this is primarily because the person is lacking some skill, all right? So, if the fourth house is terminating your job, then you are solely responsible, nobody else, all right? It's like your career has gone to Patal because you're not learning, you're not upgrading. And number eight, maybe the most important, all right? If the fifth house and the eighth house are linked, this is gold, I'm telling you. Why fifth house? Because the fifth is eighth from the tenth, which is, you know, so, 8th house is revival. So, revival or, you know, downfall. So, the 5th house is 8th from the 10th. So, it's like revival or downfall of your career. And the 8th house from the Lagna is defamation. So, if these two houses are active, so suppose, you know, 5th Lord is in the 8th or 8th Lord is in 5th and Mahadasha, Antardasha starts like this, then there could be again defamation, all right? And this is, again, because of some uh, scandal, it could be, you know, something to do with the opposite sex or, you know, forgery or something like that. All right. Now, this is very important. Number nine. If the Dasha planets are related to the Lagna and the 12th house, very, very, very important. Why? Because the Lagna is the self, right? It's your sustenance. And 12th house is lost. So what sustains you in this world? Primarily your job, right? So even then I have seen... If these two houses are also activated, then also there could be loss of job. There are a thousand other combinations, but this combination also works, I've seen. But this combination can give you loss of anything. It could be, you know, your married life, your health or anything. But if your chart is weak for profession, this will hit you first in your profession and then in other areas. All right. <clears throat> And number 10, last but not the least, now, don't forget the third house. Now, the third house is again a trick house from the 10th house. It is sixth from the 10th, right? So if the third house is linked with some Dustana house and they are activated in the Shas, then also there could be loss of job or there could be, you know, struggle in maintaining that job, which, which if the next Dasha is not the best or even not even average, then you might lose your job, all right? So, therefore, you need to watch out for Dustana houses, the 6th, 8th, 12th, and the 3rd and the 5th. All right. These, these five houses are very critical. And among them, 3rd house is still okay. But the 5th house, 6th house, 8th house, 12th house, whenever some Dasha is active, you need to be very careful. Focus on your performance. Take feedback from your manager. And only then uh, you, you will actually know. Otherwise, you know, someday the 8th house is active and... 
it's that day when you get that letter that's it <laughs> all right so and if you are in business don't forget the seventh house third house and eleventh okay because these three are the houses of business all right thank you for your patience don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like this video and if you're new then please subscribe to the channel and please share your comments you know what are some other combinations that you have seen because of which somebody may lose their job or become bankrupt and for personalized consultations you can always go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him even if you're fired <laughs> all right jai siaram